Many tragedies have visited the world during the last decade. Hard blows to humanity, destruction, and loss. As an extension to Zaka's ongoing life-saving activities, terror attacks, traffic accidents, and more, the director of Zaka, Yehuda Neshi Zahav, decided to expand their activities worldwide to extend a helping hand wherever needed. We decided to establish organized units of Zaka volunteers in Jewish communities around the world. After Zaka provided assistance in the tsunami tragedy in Thailand in 2004 and Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans in 2005, Zaka was granted recognition as an international humanitarian organization by the UN and by the US Congress in 2008. Over the years, Zaka has acted and assisted in the following countries, the Twin Tower tragedy in the US, the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster, terrorist attacks in synagogues in Turkey, the tsunami catastrophe in Thailand, Hurricane Katrina in the US, the terrorist attack in Mumbai, India, the earthquakes in Haiti and Japan. As of today, Zaka has organized and trained groups in 11 countries, including France, Mexico, Hong Kong, Singapore, the US, Britain, Russia, Belarus, Argentina, and the Ukraine. Right now, as we sit here at this event, we are establishing our 12th unit in Georgia. A staff of Zaka volunteers is training a large volunteer unit. Volunteers have left for these places and others without delay, not wasting a single second to rescue victims of the disasters and save their lives while endangering their own in places where death lurks in every corner. Following the earthquake in Haiti that shook the hearts of millions of people around the world who saw the devastation and could not believe the enormity of it, the international unit did not waste a minute. A team that was working in Mexico was dispatched to the area through tremendous difficulties and was the first Israeli team to arrive. My life begins from the moment we leave the entrance to the airport. And from that moment on, you look as far as possible and all you see is destruction, piles of rocks where there was once a city. Thousands upon thousands of people on the streets begging for water, destroyed homes and people crying. You drive 20 to 30 minutes crossing the city on the truck without seeing a single ambulance or doctor. No rescuers to be seen. I turn to my partners on this journey and I say, Revre, there is no aid here. We're it. They immediately started extracting bodies and giving medical attention to the survivors with full cooperation from the rescue teams from all over the world, especially the Israeli military command that arrived later. Under what seemed to be tens of tons of cement, we together succeeded in extracting live wounded people. Beyond the burden that we are already sleep-deprived for two days, without food and hardly any water, after this ungodly effort, a live person is extracted. There is no feeling like it. It's worth it all. There is nothing more beautiful than this. It doesn't matter whether they are religious or not, Jewish or not, they all come willingly to help.
I think that Zaka's motto can be bringing as many people as possible to this side of the divide, the cycle of doing and volunteering. We have seen that the volunteering, above and beyond the aid and assistance we provide in the field to other people, unites, joins, breaks down barriers, and makes better people. I think that this is not less important than the actual doing. They are doing the most difficult, holy work without any compensation through self-sacrifice, being away from home weeks at a time. Afterwards, they carry with them the pictures of these atrocities for the rest of their lives. But they are not deterred. They are doing this for all of us, anywhere and any time, without any preconditions. That is Zaka's international team.